Narragansett Indian tribe is outraged tonight over what leaders are calling a secret deal between the state and Twin River, denying the tribe opportunities in gaming. Iowa News reporter Catherine Sotnik joins us now live from the Mobile Newsroom with more on what she's learned. Well, Mike, this deal between the state of Rhode Island and the owners of Twin River was made about six and a half years ago. But what's at issue here tonight is who actually knew about this deal. So I will say the state's trying to stop us. Jimmy. Chief Sachem Matthew Thomas of the Narragansett Indian Tribe says the state of Rhode Island continues to block the tribe's efforts to have a full-fledged casino. The question of full-fledged casino gambling is set to go before voters in November. Rhode Island looking at, you know, to protect their own, I call it the golden goose up there, I guess, in my opinion, they're cooking it. And their quest to, to protect the golden goose, I think they actually uh, are violating the tribe's civil rights. And most recently, Chief Sachem says he's upset with this report from Christensen Capital Advisories. The report talks about how the state entered into a contract with the owners of Twin River back in 2005. There was an agreement between the state of Rhode Island and the owners of uh, Twin River to do what, whatever, whatever was necessary, whether it was judicial, administrative, etc., to stop the tribe from pursuing gaming. And while Chief Sachem calls it a secret deal, an insider deal, the governor's office tells us there was no secret deal and that the agreement was made public six and a half years ago. We're sure it was done with Governor Kacheri. But uh, you know, obviously, uh, Governor Chafee has access to it, or if, it, you know, if not in his office, and we would like to see it. And the governor's office tells me today that they are in the process of faxing that agreement over to the attorney for the Narragansett Indian tribe as we speak. They said they tried to do so already. Some of the pages were actually missing, so they're trying to refax it over. I also put a phone call into Patty Doyle. She is the spokeswoman for Twin River, and she called me back right as I was about to go on air. So at this point, I haven't been able to speak with her yet. Reporting live tonight with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Catherine Sotnick. Eyewitness News.